Hello, I'm Nigel. I'd like to do a short review for you for the Citizen Eco Drive 200 meters ISO certified diver's watch. It's known as the Excalibur because of the uh, mini hand, which looks like a sword shape. It's a proper diver's watch, and so much that it can be used um, for, for that purpose. It's got a, a unidirectional bezel, which is 60 click, and a screw down crown. And it's all uh, stainless steel and uh, very well made. So just taking it out of the box, this one side there, we can see here that it comes with the uh, Citizen uh, five year guarantee and general instructions. And it also comes with a full instruction manual explaining um, what the precautions to take when the uh, watch is being used for diving and uh, just what purposes during the diving process it can be used for. It's fully ISO certified, so it is up to those standards. So just moving the uh, box out of the way for a moment and moving over to the watch. Looking at the face of the watch, the old front of the face is a solar panel in fact underneath, in so much as it uh, works off uh, light energy, um, either sunlight or artificial light, to keep it charged. And once fully charged it can work uh, for at least six months in total darkness, or at least that's what it says in the instructions. It has superb loom, which is one of the requirements of the uh, diver's watch. Um, it has to have that. It has to be able to be seen in total darkness. Um, it also has a, a date window there, and um, it also has a the screwing crown at the side there. So, just looking at the bracelet, it's the uh, oyster type bracelet, which has become uh, the most common on diver's watches these days after uh, Rolex first introduced it with the Submariner. Um, it's uh, more, mostly brushed stainless steel with a slight polished accent on the edge of the case there. Uh, beautifully made, solid links. Uh, moving over to the, uh, the clasp, it's a proper lockdown clasp which we can see there. To lift that, just turning it round, we can see that uh, pressing both those two buttons releases it and it's a proper solid forged link rather than just a pressed clasp. It has to be that to satisfy the ISO standards uh, for a diver's watch in so much if it comes into contact with anything whilst uh, diving um, it's uh, not easily broken. Uh, so just removing the uh, pillow from the watch and looking at it in profile. You can see that um, each of the links is a solid link um, held in with a pin. Pin and collar arrangement um, it's very easy when adjusting the links to uh, lose a small collar that um, retains them in the middle so that's very important if you do get your own watch and decide to adjust the links to make sure you don't lose that collar otherwise your watch could be looking at you from the pavement which is not a good idea possibly get broken um, it shows you on the back of the bracelet how to remove the links you can see the arrows there um, and they just need to read the instructions on uh, the direction of the hours to follow to remove the link and to return it because the, the holes in the bracelet are tapered and if you return the pin in the wrong direction it will get stuck in the bottom of the tape and you won't get the uh, pin all the way through. Looking at the back of the watch um, you might just be able to uh, make out um, if I can just get the light right on it uh, the Citizen name, the Eco Drive um, and it also says ProMaster on the back of there. It is anti-magnetic, uh, which again is one of the uh, requirements for a, a certified, well ISO certified diver's watch. Uh, it's a screw on back, but it does say that uh, you must not remove the back. It's a service centre only, which means you have to send it back to Citizen, which is um, to do with the eco drive movements. Uh, you have to take the back off under normal circumstances, that's under special conditions from what I understand. As you can see they're all solid links, uh, even the end links and beautifully made, there's no sharp edges anywhere. Uh, beautifully polished underneath and nice and smooth. Uh, you can see the uh, signed crown on the edge there, that's lovely, beautifully made. And uh, the crown guard around it, yeah. and it has a beautiful um, uh, screw down um, feel as you as you wind it down on the threads it's obviously well constructed they're not likely to uh, wear out quickly or 
cross-thread easily as long as you take reasonable care. Uh, as I say, it had superb loom plots, uh, superb glow in the dark, uh, very, very nicely um, applied, no feathering around the edge of the loom plots. The uh, rotating bezel is um, lovely to use. It's um, very precise, perfectly weighted. The ratchet mechanism is obviously very well made. It doesn't stick or cross at any point and goes perfectly round the full degree of the watch face and perfectly lines up with the clip at the top to the 12 hour position which is always reassuring to know as on some cheaper watches sometimes it doesn't just uh, line up properly and you can line it up obviously to wherever you want because that's the purpose of recording the elapsed time should you go diving I must have me to you, uh, I will never be going diving in this watch, it's not something I'm, uh, I'm careful of doing or would want to do, but I just love the looks of the watch. And uh, moving over to the clasp in a little bit more detail, again it's uh, up to the standards of the rest of the watch. Um, nice and heavy duty, but still a feel of um, being wearable on uh, everyday occasions, even though it is a tool watch and therefore designed to do the purpose of diving. Um, if I uh, just show you this, it does have a diver's extension there to go over the wetsuit. But that's also um, useful during more uh, practical daily wear in so much as um, if your wrist does uh, vary uh, during the time, sometimes your wrist can swell or under uh, hot warm weather conditions, it does allow you to adjust the bracelet um, to feel more comfortable during the day. And that again is a lovely ratchet uh, mechanism. Uh, you can see that in a little bit more detail there. Um, moving on to the profile of the watch. You can see that uh, it's nicely curved and beveled. All the way down the side. Nicely brushed. Lovely. The brushing's almost diamond-like. No scratching. It's obviously been uh, very well done on a good quality machine. The, uh, the um, sort of uh, bezel um, decoration if you like or um, pressings on the side are perfectly smooth and made, no sharp edges. The uh, inset into the bezel is uh, a lovely black, it's uh, a polished arrangement, nice and shiny. It isn't ceramic obviously at the price of this watch but uh, it does give a nice uh, shine and the look of being uh, a ceramic finish. The, uh, the glass is actually AR coated, which um, is good at this price um, because uh, it does prevent reflections onto the surface of the watch and makes it very, very clear and legible. And uh, you can see there the crown guard in more detail. It does wear very nicely on the wrist. Um, I don't know if I, if I remove the watch I'm wearing now and just um, put on the Pro Master. It's a 40mm uh, diameter, so it's, um, it does wear on a nice side on the wrist, even on my smaller wrist. It does have a nice profile, as you can see. Nice flat glass, or crystal if you like, so that it doesn't easily get scratched. And... Uh, as I say, I do have smaller wrists, but that's a 40mm watch thereabouts. So it's not um, it's not a massive size by today's standards, and um, to me it is it is a nice size. It's uh, perfectly wearable. So nothing catches anywhere. The crown is well guarded. It doesn't snag on anything. Since you put your hand in your pocket, it just doesn't catch. You can see the uh, fast arrangement. Very comfortable. Uh, all the uh, links there, it sits perfectly square on the wrist even when you rest your hand, there's no uh, movement or bulking in the links, as you can see. All in all, a very nice piece, so as I say, fully ISO certified, um, beautiful really for the money, um, probably do everything a much more expensive diver's watch would do, can be perfectly used as a tool watch for the purpose it's intended, or it's perfectly good. There's a casual watch with jeans and can even cut it in the office when you've got to wear a suit. So there you are. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short introductory vi video to the uh, 
Citizen Pro Master Excalibur, as he's become known. And uh, it's available various places, you'll probably get them on the internet. This one I bought in Argos, uh, it retail in Argos for around the £140 mark. That's where I bought this one. And uh, there you go, all in all, a very nice watch. Thanks for watching.